besides providing employment and a business and a, a, a platform for these homeowners um, uh, to get the world to see their art and their architecture um, uh, and building a community of like people who are interested in weird and strange things because so much of what we see um, uh, in media and, and TV, books, YouTube, you name it, um, is about cookie cutter design. You should never paint the walls of your house um, uh, because you're just going to sell your house in six or seven years. Why even put up art, right? Why even like take a Why stand even live and decorate? Why not just sell right? it immediately? <laughs> you're just, just sell it immediately. And, and we're fighting that. We're saying you should enjoy your space. And what I want people to do is to go to our website, visit our Instagram, come on our tour, buy our coffee table book, listen to this podcast and see what people are actually doing with their homes to be creative. And I, I want people to go home and be like, you know what, that purple chair I've always wanted to buy and put in my living room. Uh, I think that's okay now because, you know, the guy who has 6,000 Star Wars figures is doing good and he looks happy, right? And the lady who built a slide from the second floor to the first floor instead of a set of stairs, she looks really happy and she's engaged and she um, has an expansion mentality about life. And so, you know what, I'm going to paint that wall. I'm going to hang that art. I'm going to buy that that interesting art piece um, that's also a chair. And, and that's what I want people to do is to come away from the Weird Homes Tour and be inspired to go home and actually change something uh, in their environment. You may not want to have the largest collection of Ouija boards um, uh, and have Ouija boards um, uh, and spirit boards and things from the 1920s in your house. But you'll be like, you know what? I, I love this little collection I have, um, and I'm not displaying it right. Like, I'm proud of this collection. It shouldn't be in a closet somewhere because I collect interesting figurines from Japanese history, right? Uh, uh, or movie posters um, from the golden age of Hollywood. And in fact, let me take those out, get those framed, and put them in my upstairs hallway. Or put them up the stairs in a really cool, interesting, bunky way. And and that's our hope is that people leave, go home, get that inspiration, either organize their collection or, you know, buy that piece of art they've always wanted and, and actually do something with it.